Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes I'm going to show you how to import dummy content into your WordPress installations so that you can get your theme set up as you'll see in the demos on mythemeshop.com. We have dummy content available for all of our themes and the process is the same regardless of which theme you're using. So here you just need to follow along and where appropriate choose your theme. So first we need to head to the My Theme Shop members area which you'll find at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member and you'll see once you're logged in you can access downloads for all of your themes. Here you can also download the dummy content for your themes. So I'm using the spike theme so I can just drop this down here and then download the demo data by clicking there and you'll see that's downloaded. If I open up this zip file then I can see that if I unzip it there then inside the folder is the dummy data in an .xml file, a readme file and the settings for the options panel which you can import later on. So if I just open up this readme file then we can see it has some information on how to use this dummy content and how to get it all set up. I'll leave you to read this in your own time though because we're going to cover all of this in this tutorial. Okay, so now we're ready to go and let's head to your WordPress dashboard. And you can see I'm running the spike theme and I've already got the theme activated. It's very important that you've got your theme activated before you do anything. Also make note that you don't want to have any content on your site if you're using dummy content because then you'll have the dummy content plus your normal content and you don't want to get the two mixed up. So here I have a blank WordPress installation with no content on it and the spike theme running. So now I'm ready to go, I'm going to hover over Tools and then Import. You then want to click on WordPress because we have WordPress content and this will prompt you to install a quick plugin that will allow you to import the content. So just hit Install Now and then WordPress will handle that and then click Activate Plugin and Run Importer. You're now ready to go and you want to upload the XML file. So you want to hit Choose File and then find the unzipped folder you just had so I have mine here and then double click on dummy data.xml and then you want to upload and import that. You'll now be asked whether you want to create a new user or map content onto an existing user. Here I'm going to just map this onto an existing user. You also want to make sure you tick download and import file attachments which will make sure all the images display. Now before you hit submit, if your theme is compatible with WooCommerce then you'll want to make sure you've got the WooCommerce plugin installed before you continue and you can check the landing page of your theme on mythemeshop.com in order to check whether your theme is WooCommerce compatible. As I said, if it is then just make sure you've got that installed before continuing. When you're ready to go, hit submit. This is now going to take some time whilst WordPress runs the script which will import all the content and import all the images. And whilst this is running, to check progress, you can open the media uploader in a new tab. Very important it's in a new tab. And you'll be able to see from what's displaying here what progress you're making. So I had not images in my media library, and they're now 47. So I can see that it's doing something, and it's making good progress. And it's just a case of waiting this out. WordPress's content importing tool does take up a lot of resources, and you just need to wait it out. But if it does fail, then... Um, you just need to repeat the process. If it fails repeatedly, check for any conflicting plugins, so disable any plugins you've got running. And if your site simply can't manage it, then that's a limitation with your host, and you'll want to check the members area for recommended hosts. Okay, so now I can see the import is finished, and where it says have fun, just click on that. That'll take me to my main dashboard, and if I just go to my live site now, then I can see that I have all this dummy content imported, and everything's showing up as it should do. So with the content uploader, it's just a case of waiting it out, running the script again if you run into any problems, and checking for conflicting plugins if it fails repeatedly. And if your host simply can't manage it, then you may want to consider getting a different WordPress host. So that's all you need to know about importing dummy content into your My Theme Shop theme. If you have any problems or any concerns, then head to the My Theme Shop support forum, and one of the support team will be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.